on Friday she just came in was looking like she was a little stressed and uh, I just thought she was I thought she was mad at me so I didn't really talk to her that much um, and then the last thing I said to her was uh, I asked her if she got got done putting the people to the computer that I asked her to put in and she told me yeah and uh, I'd like to think I, th I thanked her but I'm not so sure that I did but that was the last time I ever spoke to her. And boy, I wish now I'd had something else to say. But you had told me, Randy, that over the years you had concerns about her stepson. And what, it, what counsel did you give her? What advice did you give her? Well, I, I told her several times she needed to get him out of her house and, and uh, let him learn how to live on his own. I mean, the man was 34 years old, for crying out loud. You know, it's time to, time to let you... Uh, I know I understand you never stop being a parent, but there comes a time when a parent's job should be done. And, and I think uh, I think uh, 34 is just overstating your welcome a little bit longer than it needs to. It's, it's a shame. It breaks my heart whenever somebody that does nothing to contribute to society ends up killing somebody who spent their whole life helping other people. It just it just breaks my heart. Plus, Sandy's birthday is October the thirtieth. So on October the thirtieth, we're gonna we're gonna have a vigil here, and we're gonna celebrate her life and her birthday all on the same same day.